Like all the mics definitely picked like it up. Drained my energy. Yeah. Um welcome to officially the first episode of Billy and Jean. I'm Billy. And I'm Jean. And we, and we are, are not, not your lovers. lovers. Woo! Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is it. I know a lot of people have been waiting and waiting. You know, um, and you know what? We've been waiting, too. Yeah, we've been giving out hints. I think people are picking up on it. I mean, I didn't even give out a hint. I just announced it on Drew and Inya's podcast. Yeah, people are waiting for those couple of days between that time and now. Whenever it's this been, is It's already been like a week. It's yeah, going to be, it's probably going to be probably like a month. Because month. <laughs> it's got to go through like, this got to go well, through like a lot good. of executives. We're building up the anticipation for it. <laughs> Um, uh, we got Gibby behind the, behind the camera. Mm-hmm. He's eating pizza right now. Hello. If you don't know who Gibby is, Gibby plays basketball. Mm-hmm. I've known Gibby for a long time. I've known him since seventh grade. Yeah. Middle school. Mm-hmm. How old are you in seventh grade? Tw- so you, you guys know each other for like over 10 years, huh? Yeah, I was like 19 <laughs> in seventh grade. You were 19 in 7th grade? Yeah. <laughs> I remember we met and he was trying to figure out how to open his locker or something and I like helped him out. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did y'all use your lockers? Yeah, we had to. Like, I I would use my locker because I never wanted to carry a backpack around. I always thought it was lame. I always just wanted to like, carry a binder. <laughs> what I would do is I would put like, we had A and B days and like... um. Would you use your friend's lockers? Like, no, what I would do is I would bring all my books in my backpack for every day because I'd get so scared of bringing the wrong books for the wrong day. So I'd be like, if I just put everything in my backpack, I'll never not have the book for the day. So, like, my back just hurt a lot when I was in school and I would have to walk home and back. Remember, Gibby, one time we were walking home, we were kicking home this rock all the way from school. (laughs) <laughs> all the way back to my house and we were like keeping it up just kicking the shit out that, of that damn rock. ass gay that ass rock damn ass gay ass rock did you guys do something gay like pee on it uh no no <laughs> dude whoa Gibby lost his voice at the Clippers game <laughs> yeah I lost my voice everyone. <laughs> so he sounds like Abby Lee Miller um you met Abby Lee right mhm I met Abby Lee Miller outside of Jones on 3rd uh in LA and uh, you know what it was is me and Drew were standing in the restaurant, and Drew was like, "Yo, look outside!" And I looked outside, and it was Abby Lee Miller like <laughs> rolling by because she she's in a wheelchair now, or she was at the time. Maybe she's not anymore. I don't know. Um, but she was rolling by, and I just saw her little head like you know going by, and uh, I was like, "Oh my god! Like, what do I do? Like, I didn't know what to do." And he was like, "Dude, go out there! Like, I get know, a picture! Like, stop her!" To, you so have I did, to. and I never like. I mean, I. I I don't stop people for pictures, but like that was just like, how I could had you? To. How could you? How not? could you not? Like that's one of the things that you'll regret for the rest that's of your life. That's one in a million. And she told me she was like, "Hey, like, yeah, I'm just on my way back from therapy," <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, hey," and I was like, "Do you want to like take a picture?" Um, and she was like, "Yeah," Dude, and she and she photo. like grabbed me so hard. <laughs> I'll insert the photo. Dude, it, she looks like a wax figure. She I grabbed remember. me so hard, and she was like, "Waist up." <laughs> And she told you she was like waist up, and she like grabbed me so hard, and she was she she I mean she looks great, kind of like a drunk aunt on like yeah no, a and holiday when not, they're taking not a picture. A drunk aunt, Get just over like, here. Like an aggressive aunt. Yeah. Like she wasn't. She didn't even feel drunk. It was just. And you know who? What? Anya was in the bathroom the whole time that was happening. Oh, and when she came out, we told her. No. We told her what was ha- what happened. <laughs> Abby had already left, and Anya was like, "Dude, are you fucking kidding me?" Oh my god. And we showed her the picture. I'd slam my head on a fucking wall. Oh, it was so good. Gabby, yeah, you know who Abby Lee Miller is? I don't. Dance Moms. Dude, Dance Moms. The lady, she's like hitting the kids around. She hits her kids? She hits the students. Or no, I mean, <laughs> uh, the jury's still out. I don't think she hits them, right? One of them like sued her or something. 
dude. Oh so my god. It's like she teaches a class. She teaches a dance class, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And she's like super, super mean. And sh- they scream and they're children. Mm-hmm. It's really good. You should watch it. She makes it. the kids cry. It seems more it was a It was a hit show for years. You never heard of it. Dance Moms. No. Dude, no, no. If, if you don't think about it morally, it's super enjoyable. It is, yeah. But I cool. it, I, feel, I, feel, I feel bad for no, the kids. No, dude, just like suppress your emotions. It's really fun to watch. I mean, yeah, I guess I don't know them or I didn't... I, like you ever watch um, like videos of like people dying and stuff? No. <laughs> no. Live leak is off the. Damn! Do you see this fly? I know. Dude, Live I, leak I have is like off the whole air. Ecosystem in my fucking room. You really do the ants, dude. I know. Why I, don't you tell the ant story? I'll again? just always see ants crawling on me in my bed, and like I'll just flick them into oblivion. Like I just think about them like flying across the room. Just Look like at that. that dust that came out. Dude, last night when we were taking shots, there was so much dust in my shot, like, before I took it. Dude, I know. I remember you saying there's a bunch of stuff in my <laughs> shot. Last, dude, last and night, everyone was like, it's, a, it's fine. Just take it. I'm not joking. <laughs> last night, I, I took, I don't know, eight, nine shots. It's weird. I've, I think I took a similar amount, but I didn't really feel that drunk. I, I felt like... I felt kind of like buzzed. numb yeah numb numb that's a good way I, to felt, I was just like when i was going to bed i was like dude what yeah like what is going on like dude, I, I could tell you wanted I to play fortnite like, so I bad fortnite so bad and I gibby know. was like falling asleep dude. sorry like i remember <laughs> I, just, I looked over to gibby because like he was playing on xbox and me because we're playing on switch and i looked over at him and he was just like this he just had his eyes fully closed, <laughs> and I, like, got down, <laughs> and he heard the noise that it makes, and his eyes, like, immediately opened, and he was like, where are you? <laughs> Dude, and I so saved you. We'll be playing Minecraft with Gibby, and, um, like, it will just, his character will just stop moving, and I'll go, get me! And he'll go, yo, bro, actually, stop, bro, you just woke me up. <laughs> <laughs> But you have Parkinson's. <laughs> or no, 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 no. Not, Parkinson's? Not, not Parkinson's. <laughs> no, 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 the one where you fall asleep. Uh, epilepsy. Yeah. No, no, that's not no, no, it no. Either, what is it? Dude. Narcolepsy, narcolepsy. Yes. Or I think I just have a regular sleeping schedule. <laughs> I know, because we're always dude, up yeah. at like It was like 5 a.m. when he was falling asleep. And I was like, dude, why are you falling asleep? <laughs> yeah. like, like, stay up. Well, because what? also, I got back from Japan like two fucking days ago. And and uh, it's sixteen hours ahead there, you know. Oh, so shit. it was like I don't know, like when it was super late. Lucas was like, "What time is it in Japan right now?" Like you seem like you have a lot of energy, and I was like, "It's only six p.m. there." I know Josie was acting like he was just like he just woke up. He was like, "Come on, guys! Like, what are we doing?" And he was like dancing and like doing things, and like the whole room was just eyes closed. Dude, don't these sweatpants look like paper? How thin they are. Yeah, it just looks like paper. It looks me. like 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 fur skin. Like I said, to preface this, muscle. we've recorded the first <laughs> episode of this podcast at this point like five times. And this one is Six going times. the best so far. Yeah. Honestly, I mean, we got we just we, it was a lot of trial runs. It was a lot of different audio setups and different um yeah so josie's ears are very accurate right yeah so I know. like uh, we were at fucking guitar center <laughs> today no and you we were, were getting pissing me the mics, fuck off and dude. i i don't know like i don't know why like sometimes like i i feel like me and grace are talking about this and i feel like like me and grace but like more me specifically um know how to like press your buttons and like i feel like you just get so annoyed at me, like, at some of the things that I do. Like, way more annoyed than you would if it was, like, another person doing the same thing. Like, I feel like I just have some je ne sais quoi about, like, pushing your buttons. So, like, when we were at Guitar Center, Josie really wanted these new podcast mics. And I was just like, bro, like, I mean, sure, like, I bet it will make a difference. But it's like our first one. Like, we still need to do them, you know, like, I haven't even done them. But, and they were, like, expensive. Like, the ones he wanted were, like... 180 each so then we finally get there we show up and like they're not even there and there's only one of them left so Josie's talking about getting these other mics i was like sure whatever bro and he's like do they sound the same i was like whatever bro. and then as we were checking out i was talking to the guy i was like yeah Josie has like really good hearing he's able to like really pick up which mics 
you know, do the best or whatever. And the guy just seemed like <laughs> uncomfortable about it. <laughs> seemed like he, he just didn't wasn't really like care. he. Yeah, he didn't care, and he wasn't like picking up that you were joking because who? Who? That's not a joke. That's like just saying something. Like it's not a joke. So he's just like, yeah. He was like, over time, like, yeah. I think you just like you kind of you know what good sound is, and I was like. Like I was just, like so pissed off because you were making me sound like I was like this monster. <laughs> no, what do you mean? Because also, because like, also, what do you I was mean, like, mean though? Like I wasn't. I like, we, like you and it dude, almost just made me talking, look stupid. No, you were talking in like a quiet way where you were like, yeah, like he knows, like and like and it was like it made me seem like I was like a bully, like I was like your abusive boyfriend, like <laughs> just like it, whatever. I mean, man, like I'll, I'll probably never see the guy. Is that how you feel though? Like, do you no. feel like you're an abusive boyfriend? No, because I don't think I'm putting that energy out there. You are. You were like cowering and being like, yeah, like he, you know, he knows, like he knows. <laughs> like either that, or you were just making it seem like, I don't know. Dude, you know what? It was man? just a really weird energy <laughs> in the fucking guitar center. Okay, it was. It's always a weird energy in guitar centers. It's always. Like I don't like like it a ever. lonely like everyone seems hung over there. Everyone seems <laughs> like they're so annoyed as soon as you start playing any of the instruments that are in there. Or you ask any question. <laughs> or or if you yeah exactly. Dude, Sam, same thing with the you know it's way worse is Sammy's cameras. Sammy's yeah. camera, they are so fucking mean. Every fucking time, mm-hmm. they are the me- it's the meanest person you'll ever meet in your life. I'm always so scared to walk up to the. Uh, just like anyone to ask any question because they'll just be like oh you don't know <laughs> yeah and i'm like dude you fucking work here like just answer my fucking question i've gotten some nice people though there's been some at nice sammy's people. camera yeah i've gotten like one there's nice this guy. one old guy yeah, at the, yeah. Um, i think at the la the location one. oh la never mind who like fixed any camera actually ones. it could be the same old guy maybe he works in different locations are you talking about the guy. one in like close to santa Ana? yeah so maybe he's the same old there, guy man. and he drives to both. I don't think he does. Well, Grace sometimes would go from den to den, so. Yeah, I think I'm right about that. It's probably den, 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 den. Oh, also, I forgot. We tot- I totally forgot. We have a donation, by the way. Oh, that's cool. Because we haven't. Um, did you hear about this, Gibby? Donation? We haven't. I did not. St- yeah. We haven't started our Patreon, you know, um, but we're like been taking cash donation. Uh, Patreon? Patreon. Is it Patreon? I think so. No, it's page. Shut up. Seven bucks, and it came with the note. Whoa, seven dollars! Wow, thank you, thank you to seven dollars. Uh, Veronica B. Veronica B. Veronica B. Trippin. <laughs> for all of you out there, he actually does have that written down. And for the record, like he's done this bit before on like the other podcast that we try to do. And he thought it was so funny that he kept that piece of paper. Is that the same one? No, I wrote a new one. He but wrote also, a new no, one. Be- before it was just Veronica B., I added the trip in this time. Oh, really? Veronica B. Trippin. <laughs> <laughs> and it says, Can I see your handwriting? On the back of it, it says, um, it says her website is veronicaweightloss.com. <laughs> Yo, give me the <laughs> <you> fuck <laughs> this. <laughs> Yeah, let me see that. It's the $7 Veronica B. Trippin. That's her full name. Her last name is yeah, Trippin. Her middle name starts with a B, I guess. Veronica Beatrice Trippin. There you you go. just crumpled it up like that? Well, to, for it to get more distance. It feels hot in here, and I feel like I'm locked in, you know? Uh, no, you're not. You can leave at any time. That's the cool thing about podcasts. Make sure it's pointed towards you. It's pointed towards me. See, this is what I'm talking about. There you, you go. That's good. You with the fucking ears. Like, I'm just you, saying. you can hear it even from Gibby's headphones. You can No, I just know it. how microphones work. Oh, Mr. I'm a singer. singer. Yeah, I'm mm, a singer. Yeah. I just know what it's like <laughs> to be at the front of the stage. Me and Lucas are in a band together. Barely. I bet you didn't know that. I bet you didn't know that. You said barely. And I bet you didn't know that I actually sing most of the songs that are released. That's not true. I mean, I do the backing for most of it. Sing it then. Um, right now. Yeah, let's hear something. For how much? Seven dollars. <laughs> yeah, seven dollars. <laughs> 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 Veronica B. <laughs> Veronica B. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Veronica B. For the donation. Um, many more donations to come. Our PO box will be down in the description. Thank you can you. just send cash. <laughs> how shady would that be? <laughs> if we started taking cash. Is that donations? a label to? I think have people probably. Send you cash probably in the mail because it's totally off the books. You know, no paper trail. 
Dude, I wonder what... Why do they call it a paper trail if you're literally doing cash? And that's paper, you know? But if you have the cash, you leave no paper trail. But, like, you have a paper trail because it's cash, you know? Right? I'm not crazy, right? No comment. <laughs> I feel like I'm just sucking the air out of the room, man. Um, so Halloween was fun. Um, Dude, yeah. La- was last night Halloween? Like actual Yeah, last Halloween night, night was actually Halloween. Dude, the thing is, is about this Halloween, and I'm sure everyone else feels this because I've seen everybody posting. It was Halloween weekend. It was not Halloween. Everybody was partying <laughs> yeah, on yeah. Friday and Saturday mm-hmm. and Sunday. Mm-hmm. And then once Halloween actually hit on Monday. Yeah, everyone was too hungover I to actually do anything. I barely saw anybody out trick-or-treating, okay? Mm-hmm. Like, I was driving here, and I almost hit one kid and one kid only. Like, would you still go dress up and knock on people's door? Never. Did you did you ever do it? Yes. Did a you, lot. Did you have fun? Were you, like, with the cool group of kids and get a bunch of candy? With the cool group of kids? I mean, yeah, I, I guess so. Oh, okay. I guess, yeah. Me and Gibby were always off running around. I would have so much fun. <laughs> How much candy would you get? <laughs> Me and Gibby would get hella candy, and then we would come back here and just post up. Big bad. <laughs> yeah, we would get pillowcases. We would bring our pillowcases. Um, I think Gibby had trash uh, bags though. You would bring a trash bag. Yeah. Like would... Angelina on um, Jersey Shore <laughs> when she brought all her luggage and trash. Have you seen Jersey Shore? I haven't. What? I've seen a couple episodes. But you haven't seen like the whole thing? No. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. But yeah, we put it on at the end of the night after um, uh, playing some Fortnite games. Gibby was already asleep, dude. Yeah, he was I mean, out, we like, tried light. playing Fortnite drunk. Um, it's not good. It just makes it a lot harder, I think. You know, Fortnite in general is very hard. I sober. just went to Japan, right? Yeah. I was there for like eight, nine days. Snooze fest, am I right? <laughs> and there was no Fortnite there, okay? I brought my Switch, and I technically could have played, but like I would have been on different servers. Dude, and, like, I would kill to go to Japan and play Fortnite. I, but no one else had brought their Switch, dude. Like, everyone, like... Just gave up on the idea of us playing Fortnite in Japan. They were like, "We're just Dude, taking it's a like, break." Might as well and just like, fucking play Fortnite here. Also, speaking of hitting kids with cars, I know that was a while ago. I'm sorry. Are you talking about when I almost hit that kid? Yeah. No, no, no. I'm talking about uh this girl I knew, Ruth. It wasn't my fault. Hitting a kid with her car, which I talked about on the podcast with Drew and Enya Halloween episode. And yeah, someone yeah, so like talk about it on this one. Someone no, someone texted me about it and being like, "Dude, you dropping her full name on that <laughs> podcast is crazy." <laughs> and I was like, "Dude, I don't give a fuck." And I said it in the podcast. I was like, "I don't give a fuck." Like she hit some kid with her car and then left her friend to like clean up the mess. She drove away. Like that's dude, that, fucking that's crazy. Gnarly, dude. And she just got her car taken away from her parents. I don't, I don't even know. Was if she the got kid legal fine? Trouble. Was it like a gnarly hit? I don't know. Apparently there was blood. <gasps> I don't know. Oh, that's scary. Dude, I know. Oh, and she just drove dude, away. She was I know. like, oh, I don't do you, know what to do. Dude, imagine that. Imagine me. And, you, and you're like, oh, I hit someone. And then just keep driving. Like, imagine like, are, do you listen to music? Is it silent in your car? Dude, no, she knew. You she like knew. put on a fucking song? Dude, like no, she knew. And I, I think know, she like got like, out of the car. How do you even like, vi- oh, she got out? Dude, I think she did. And she was like, oh, oh no. And Emily got out too. Not not Emily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. different Emily. Um, And Emily got out too, I think. And saw it and like, Ruth got back in the car and left and was like, I don't know what to do. This is what I've heard. I was not there. This Dude, is what I've heard. Whoa. Dang. Um, but what? that's so fucked up. What costume was the it? It wasn't wearing? on Halloween. No, it was oh. on a regular ass day. Okay. <laughs> what costume was he in? It's like Spider Man. Maybe it was hard to see. <laughs> <laughs> she was in like a bumblebee costume. <laughs> yeah, I've never, I've never hit someone, thank God. What'd you go as for Halloween? I, this Halloween, mm-hmm. um, I went as myself. I didn't dress up. Did you think I dressed up with what you I was wearing? You went as Popeye Sailor Man. I was wearing big jorts and a pink shirt. Yeah, that's what I was normally like wearing. Shack or something. What I was normally wearing. What'd you? Did, did you? You thought I dressed up? No, I didn't. I just thought I was like, you know what? Like I was away for the weekend. Maybe you. I was maybe just, just wearing my normal clothes, me. dude. I thought I wouldn't dress up for this Halloween. What, what did you dress up? What did you dress up for as last Halloween? Dude, was it like the COVID Halloween? Was it, didn't know there were like anything? two COVID Halloweens. Yeah, no one did anything, right? No, we did a lot. What did we do? Make sure. You were you with me? Gibby can hear me fucking fine. Yeah, I hear you good. Just making sure. Well, apparently, 
Your supersonic hearing can catch the waves from Gibby's headphones, so I'll just listen to you. Okay, would you say that I'm a sassy person? Yeah. <laughs> you are. <laughs> okay. What's sa- wrong with that? Okay, okay. There's nothing wrong with uh, that. S- like I am s- sassy or like snappy. Sassy. You're not snappy. You're not like rude. You don't. You don't think I'm rude? No. I would say I'm sassy and sometimes I'm snappy, but I'm more just like I'm more just like. Are you fucking dumb? Like just like <laughs> d- like if someone's like not figuring it out, I'm like, dude, just fucking do it. Like, are you dumb? Like, I'm really. It's really more. It's not like snappy as much as it is just like. What like what do you like what's going on with you like are you good like just do it you know yeah but I don't think it's as snappy I think it's just like who has time you know who has the time right seriously <laughs> <laughs> Gibby plays basketball yeah I play basketball he does he works out every day except today though yeah. Well, was Pretty today much. really your first day of skipping working out in a long time? Nah, that's definitely not true. No, Gibby has a gym in his room now, and he does. Uh, you have dips. it in your room. He does dippies. I have like some equipment. A little you got setup. dumbbells. A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> what? A little bit. It's all Zuckerberg. <laughs> he bought Snapchat. <laughs> um. And Pornhub. Did he? Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it's crazy, man. Elon Musk has Twitter now, though. And he brought X and XX. Uh, and X videos. <laughs> <laughs> he really was going after all the porn <laughs> sites. Dude, he was just, like, shopping on, like, <laughs> rich people, like, a uh, billionaire website, like, and buying websites online, buying companies. Like, that's what they do. They just scroll down a list, and they're like, mm, I'll, I'll put this one in the cart. Maybe I'll buy it. And then it's like he just buys part of it. It's like for like a hundred million dollars. Yeah, he goes on dot com dot com, and then he just gets a bunch of websites. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. Dot com dot com. <laughs> you know what www stands for? What? World Wide Web. Did what? you know that? I didn't. Isn't there an E at the end? WWWE. No, you're thinking of WWE, <laughs> bro. Shut up. <laughs> Dude, no. WWW stands for Dude, World Wide Web. You can be a little rock in Fortnite. And let's see. <laughs> Gibby, will you check if... um yeah. will, you, will you check if you type in World Wide Web dot Facebook dot com if I it think still shows eventually up? Eventually, everything will be in Fortnite. I think Jesus will be in Fortnite. How I think are they going to get the rest I of Jesus? I will be in Fortnite. Is Jesus copyrighted? I think you will be in Fortnite. I no, think no, no, no. Everyone Gibby, will Gibby. eventually be in Fortnite. Type in, like, instead of www at the top, like, at the top search bar. I think Morgan Freeman will be in Fortnite. I think C3PO will be in Fortnite. I think. Like, uh, World Wide Web instead of www. The buzz like, type it all out and then it say World Wide Web. I think dot Optimus Prime is going to be in Fortnite. Com. Let's see if that works. I'm so like, curious. Like, drive him around or something. Or what the fuck are you talking about? Um, I think. No, no, come on. What are you talking about? I think Ant Man will be in Fortnite. Ant Man's already been in Fortnite. Really? I think so. Let's see, there you go. Did it work, Gibby? Uh, what are you trying to accomplish? Um, Gibby, can you type a little faster? <laughs> I, t- I typed it in. You fucked this. For- forget it. Forget it. Just forget it. Yeah, wait. What do you want to look up? You're on Facebook now. You're on Facebook. <laughs> Bro, you said. Do you guys have <laughs> Facebook? <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. I was like, I got Facebook when I was like eleven. Oh my I god, was I just found after it. the time. Dude, I, like, you just on Facebook page for World Wide Web. Dude, are we millennials? Because I was born in no, two thousand. No, no, no. I was gen- born in two thousand. I was like right on the bridge. We're Gen Z. Gen Z is. I was like, right on the bridge though. I think Gen Z is like nineteen ninety four. So you know that Terabithia movie? Bridge of Terabithia. I was right on the bridge of that. That bridge broke. Well, she died. Remember. Well. Or I mean, she ro- wasn't real. She wasn't real. The Spoilers. Oh, is that what it is? That she wasn't real? <laughs> I'm pretty. No, no, she you died. You know what's no, weird yeah, in that, that she movie? died at the beginning. Yeah. Oh, at the very beginning. Yeah, 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 yeah. She died when she broke off the rope, though. That's what I mean. At least in the that's what he thought. Josh Hutchinson. You saw that movie, right, Gibby? Uh, what movie? Bridge of Terabithia. Remember that? Movie? No. What happened Dude, to Josh Gibby, Hutchinson? I don't think you ever seen anything ever. <laughs> uh, that's possible. <laughs> what movie have you what's seen? What's your favorite movie? Um. Yeah, it's kind of like a hard question. 
I feel like Jeepers <laughs> Creepers. Yeah, like Jeepers you know, Creepers too. I like Hardball with Keanu yeah, Reeves. He likes Hardball. He loves that movie. Oh, okay. That's <laughs> my favorite Keanu Reeves movie. No, there's another movie that you like wanted me to watch for so long. Um, <laughs> Juice. Yeah, I think it was Juice. Yeah, that's a good one. What Our is that about? Rim. That's about a gang. It's like a movie with Tupac. Gilby, Gibby oh. really, Gibby really and likes Omar Up Epps. too. Oh, you like Up, the movie Up? Um, a Pixar movie? No, I like the movie Down. <laughs> <laughs> Can you open my door? Jojo's crying. Lucas has this cat called Jojo. He's the cutest thing in the world. Can you, you just should. close it once he's in? Jojo, come on in. Come on in, boy. Come on, man. See, that's what he does. Cats are so, like. He'll need the door open, and then as soon as you open it, he acts like he's I'm never been in the fucking the room door before. Open. He looks around like it's Jurassic Park. Oh I'm gonna leave the door open. And Gibby grabbed us a bag I'm of cookies. Open. Oh, there you go. I'm open. Dude, I hate, like, I I hate Halloween. I hate Why? 4th of July. I just think I hate um Christmas? No, Christmas is okay. Lucas Christmas hates is the Christmas only one songs. I like. I hate just like party holidays. Thanksgiving. Lucas hates Christmas. Thanksgiving's songs. all right. Whoa. I hate like party holidays where it's like it's like now today's mandatory that you have to go out and do something and be someone or else you feel like a loser. Oh, mo. It's like like it's like, why are you putting pressure on me for this day? Like, if today's such a special day, I should be able to do whatever I want, right? And, like, to me, like, some of the most special thing is, like, just doing nothing. <laughs> I mean, we can make... Can you hear this? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can make your own holiday, technically. Yo, can you tell me a cookie? Huh? Can you tell me a cookie? Do you want one, Lucas? No. All right, I'm going to throw the whole bag. Hey guys, this is Jojo. He's my cat. He's perfect. I got him uh, oh just before, um, just like two and a half years ago. I believe that um, he slipped through the gates of heaven and fell into my arms. Hey, did it hurt? Mm. Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? Because you're an angel. Because he's the only ten I see. Because he fell from, from heaven. Ten- are you from Tennessee? No, I am from Riverside. Oh, okay. Because you look inbred. <laughs> um, <laughs> rude as fuck. <laughs> no, no, I wasn't actually saying that to you, but imagine like some girl is like super over it. And this guy's here, he's like, are you from Tennessee? And she thinks that he's going to make that line. And she's like, no, I'm not. And he's like, oh, because you look super inbred. <laughs> Damn. That's a good pickup line. Dude, also dissing everyone in Tennessee. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you fucking inbred Tennessee fuck. What is Tennessee? No, my aunt lives in Tennessee, so I'm like, I'm good. I got Yeah, you're inbred, bro. Huh? No, I'm not from Tennessee. My aunt lives there. Um My aunt's not inbred though. Um I don't think so. Why you say it like that? What? Inbred. Inbred. Your zipper's down, by the way. Inbred. That's actually pretty funny. Inbred. Inbred? <laughs> Dude, I unzipped it because we had that ramen and my belly was so full. I Is couldn't. it still so full? <sighs> it's pretty big. I went poop. Bro, you are a loser. I'm um, not a fucking loser. I'm mean, a loser. Actually, you're making me feel like a loser, dude. My <laughs> belly feels all big and my zipper's down. <laughs> it's pretty loser. Yeah, we woke up. At, what time did we wake up today? Eleven. Okay. Gibby was up, dude. I woke up no, and I was you know so what tired. Fucking he was just happened, on his phone, on the I know on his phone, and I remember what woke me and, up, dude. And he was like, "Bro," and he looked so bummed. He's like, "Take off, Ty." I know, and, and that's like, what woke dude. me up. And that <laughs> he like, said it oh before that. Before you woke up, he said it once before that, and I woke up and I was like, "Wait," or I think I said, "I know," because I had seen it really late the night before. Um, or not, I guess the morning, cause it was like fucking 5am, 6am when I was falling asleep. And I was like, I woke up just to be like, I know. 
And then I like try to go back to bed and I couldn't. And then give me poured and water. And give me poured fucking water on my head while I was sleeping. Give me in a water bottle. I was like, should I pour some on his head? I was like, yes, yeah, do it. He's like, I'll just do it right next to him. And then like, <laughs> I thought he was just gonna do like a drip. And then like, it was like, you told me. Like to it do was it. just fully going like half of the bottle. And then Josie just poked his head up and he was like. Looked like he got stepped on. Yeah, was like, so, oh. so I was like, dude, I'm jet lagged. Like, why are you guys doing this to me? And like I said, you deserved it. I didn't say that. For what? No, you said it earlier. Uh, just a little bit ago. Probably about oh, 20 yeah, minutes ago. You, you said, did something to me. You did something ridiculous. I tried to pants you because Gibby yeah, told me yeah, to. Yeah, exactly. Why am I looking like the bad guy? See, it's because <laughs> you are the bad guy. I always guy, think bro. the person who does it is the worst because. They're like, oh, someone told me to, so now I can do it and then pin it on them and say that they told me to. Yes, like, I agree. Is that it's why just you like, instigate so that's much? That's like the only fucking reason. Is that why you instigate so much it, it, so you can blame it on them and be like, dude, they're even worse. I they did am it. the least instigator in the band. No, you're the most instigator in the band and you always have been. All fights end with me. Dude, no, all fights start with you. You go to Seth in his ear and you say, yo, Go like hit Josie in the fucking back or da 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 da. And Seth, or he you, gets yeah, excited. You, yeah, he, he gets it. all excited, and you know he's gonna get all excited, and then he does it because he like you know he's like oh this will be funny and like no because he knows that he can blame it on me afterwards. He'll be I'm sorry, Lucas told me to. I know that because and that's what happens. And guess is, what? Man, if you never is, told him to, he never I'm would. All I'm doing is and I'm you motivating to, you to do what you already wanted to and fucking And you do it do. to me too, and you're like yo, like you should go do this, dude. And I don't fall for hey, it man, anymore. What if I told you, hey, guess what, man? No matter what you do, no consequences. You would you would go out on that date. You would hit up that girl. You would you would you know you would do everything you wanted to do. And I'm basically that voice in your head being like, "Yo, man, Dude, you can no, do it. You'll you're be not fine. the angel on my Preach. shoulder. You're the fucking devil on my shoulder." I I mean, say what you want. Like you act that's like all an man-made things. I'm something much more than that. No, angels and devils are Preach. not man-made things. Yeah, they're they're, they're the ideas definition of that were not created by man. Their ideas that was created by man. The the devil, that's only one word to say it. One. What, the, el Diablo. El Diablo. You know, it's just a Three, word, man. Four, five, six, um, seven. Eight. I got 8,000 yen right here. Who wants it? I gotta go exchange it. I think 8,000 yen right now is like... I've never seen yen. 60 bucks? No, because you're going to steal it and you're not going to give it back. So no, I'm not going to give it to you. Stop! See, the way that you're being so aggressive and you're hitting your cat too. I didn't hit my cat. Yes, you did. I think you got Gibby, scared did you by see it? outside. Gibby, did you see it? Um, bro, be honest. Did you see it? Sure, yeah, bro. Sure, bit. bro. You're Why? just such a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> you're such a stupid dumbass. You got your fucking yen from Japan and you won't share. You're like, oh, look at this. I have a bunch of money. I have to exchange it for normal dollars and put it in my bank account with all my other billions of dollars. Billions? Fucking bragger. <laughs> fucking bragger. Bro, I don't have billions of Yeah, dollars. so the dude who just came back from Japan. You, Face. You have more money in your bank account right now than I do. I know yeah, that for I mean, a fact. Yeah, because I'm not taking fucking trips to Japan, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm living my life. Yeah, happily. I'm having a great time. Yeah, I'm very sad but happy. Okay, you know how people say like... Whoa. um, Like... <laughs> Uh, like I'm, 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 a, I'm a Democrat financially, but um, no, or fiscally I, 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 or whatever. I'm conservative fiscally. Yeah, yeah. So I, I'm, I'm, uh, uh, sad normally, but I'm happy fiscally. You say worth it? What's um, the point of having all that money if you're not gonna spend it? The safety and comfort. The safety and comfort of being like, hey man, if I want to buy a fucking Fortnite skin right now, I, I can do that. No, I agree. I mean, I, I definitely agree, but I'm also like, I want to live my life. You know, I want to get out there. I mean, it's kind of like Fortnite skins or Japan. You have to choose, you know what I mean? Uh, probably Japan. Oh, just so you can play Fortnite in no, Japan? No, I got, I got both. Sure. I got both. So you can play your shitty skins in Japan. I get that. I have so many skins. We have the same skins. Like, really, most of them are like the same. Gibby, do you have that note from Veronica B? Because I think there was something on the back. Yeah, Um. can we go to her website see what she's got going VeronicaWeightLoss.net. Yeah. Grace was saying sometimes that her voice runs out. What? What? Like she'll be speaking and she'll be like, uh, "Oh, you're kind of like losing confidence in what you're saying." No, 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 no. Like, like she, she will be like speaking and then her voice just like runs out. Like she runs out of like voice and but keeps thinking she's kind of like you on tour for that one show. Which show? Oh, oh, the first show. <laughs> Dude, Gibby. Okay, let me tell you, Gibby. 
So for the entirety that we've been a band, Josiah has never messed up once. And like he he sounds perfect all the time. He he's I generally think that he's one of like the greatest sing- he's probably the greatest singer I know. Like mm-hmm. he's just as amazing. And from one of the so from one of the shows we were playing, he like <laughs> one of the songs and, and it, I, like my drums are loud the monitors are right here I like can barely even hear him but I heard it like a fucking like bell tower I heard it all the way it cut right through and he's like ah! and just, <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was like oh my god <laughs> and the reason why it's so funny is because it's so rare and he's so talented and and I just know it, it was just like such a um, it was one like time. a one time thing that will never whatever and so it was like seeing a god Hell stumble. It was, like, <laughs> it, was god like, stumble. <laughs> it was like, whoa. And the crazy I thing think is, you're capable of that. That's crazy. It, the crazy <laughs> thing is, is that it's, it's not, uh, I wasn't even sick yet. I wasn't sick yet. Yeah, I wasn't, wasn't even, on a steroid. I wasn't was on focus. It was like, dude. it was like our first show. <laughs> like it was our first show of the tour. <laughs> um, and I was like, what the fuck? Like, I don't even remember what song it was. It was a stupid song, too. I was yeah, like, this song is even easy to that, sing. Yeah, that you're easier ones. I think it was Bye Bye Baby. But what what he usually will do is hopefully the crowd will be very vocal. Um, and he'll kind of take the back seat in some songs and let the crowd sing. Yeah, by the end Give of the his tour, voice I, I had to because... Arrest. Yeah. Dude, yeah, I was on... Dude, a lot of our songs, it's nonstop, like... Singing. <laughs> the whole set also is just though, nonstop it's singing. It's nice, though. Corbin sings some songs now and Seth sings some songs. So yeah, he those are such, dude, those are such those. nice breaks. Our first tour we ever did. I mean, Andy's playing rhythm guitar <sighs> while he's singing. It's a lot of work. Corbin? No. Um, rhythm guitar's I, easy. Yeah, is Corbin playing lead while he sings? Yeah. Corbin Andy, plays, Andy yeah. plays piano. Andy Corbin does is crazy. Corbin, Corbin, <sighs> Corbin can play anything, but he would never admit it. He's just as very <laughs> um, musically inclined. He's he's a very talented individual, that man. I know. I... I I look up to that man. Um, but yeah, that tour I ended up having to take two antibiotics, a vocal steroid, a COVID pill, and I was on both. And a list. whole lot of beer. And a whole lot of vodka lemonade. <laughs> Dude, every night, Frankie, please, can you see if they have lemonade? <laughs> Frankie's our tour manager. He would run and get us drinks sometimes because. You know, in the once you get out of the green room, you kind of get mobbed, and sometimes it's like we're so tired. And also, we didn't want to get sick, um, dude. Yeah, because so the thing Josie was, Josie would send like, out Frankie on, please, can you get me fucking lemon, please? And if they don't have lemonade, just cranberry. <laughs> 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 and I'd just be like, fucking Modelo, bro, fucking give me one. I know that was the thing. Everyone else like drinks beer, easy, and yeah, I'm like, beer. I don't fucking like beer, okay? Dude, the thing and is though, bars is, usually don't have a white cloth. So I was like, just give me vodka. We're lemonade, just so please. stupid. We don't put any alcohol in our writer because before this was our first tour of any of, of us even being 21. Um, yeah. So we would have to buy everything, and hopefully they give us drink things. But it's not even like we drank a bunch. Like we would just have a beer one time or vodka lemonade. Like we're not really big drinkers. But no, yeah, it's just like. But one night, the thing is though, one night I accidentally drank too much, and I went out on the stage. Um, I went out onto the stage. It was in Atlanta this tour, and I went out on the stage and I felt a little drunk, a little buzzy. Yeah. And I was scared. And yeah. there's a video of me. <laughs> singing um one of the songs from that night and i watched and i was like whoa like i don't see like it's just it, i had never performed like that before i <laughs> always 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 perform sober and i was so scared and i mean it went fine but i remember i was just like that whole performance just didn't feel real like, it just like came and went and like i did fine and Dude, i was like that so was so scary like, like i feel like it's so much more common um to have it the other way around of like People can't perform unless they're drunk. Like people cannot. Perform, I know. I know people like get that. Get over those like, nerves yeah. and like. Just it doesn't help with my nerves. It makes them a thousand yeah, times right. worse because I'm like I'm out of control. I mean, it's like, whatever I, I can't you're control. used to. Like once you start doing like a habit, you know, like for us, it's like we always like to be in control. We always like to be sober because that's what we've done for all the other shows. That's mm-hmm. all we know how to do on stage. Um, like Which adding in another better. factor is scary. I think it's better because like. I mean. I don't have to rely on it. I can just go yes, out exactly. Like, I mean, uh, I don't have to waste my fucking liver away every time I want to play. Um, yeah, and especially too for <laughs> vocals because like it rots the fuck out of your throat over time. Um. Yeah. Yeah. It messes with your throat. But for drums, I'd be chill. And I'd I brought cool. a drink out on the stage. Actually, one night. dude, for drums, it seems so hard. Like, 
I remember one time in the practice studio, we tried to practice drunk, and it it went horribly. It was just, we didn't do anything, and then we went home. We went and got food. We Ubered and got food. Yeah, we got Mongolian barbecue. Mongolian barbecue. That shit's good, man. Bomb. Bomb. Dude, Mongolian barbecue <sighs> is the best thing you could ever eat, ever. <laughs> Bomb. Whoa, I got a ton of cameos expiring. Oh, dude, we'll do them together. I got one expiring in three minutes, one expiring in Wait, four Jesse, minutes. Wait, Jesse, do you think if I did one, your do fans it. would be mad? One expiring in 18 minutes. Come on, you're, you're fans like me too, right? It would be just as good if I did one, right? Wouldn't that cost the same amount of money? Bro! <laughs> okay, bro, I feel like you're such a stupid fucking pussy. Okay, I'm not a pussy, bro. It's right in the back of your head, I see it. The pussy that's installed on the back of my head. <laughs> yeah. Dude, imagine just like waking up one day and like feeling like that on the back of your head. I mean, like, like Yo, in your hair. Is like, that? <laughs> it's in your hair. And you have to like part your hair to get to it. And you're like, Yo, what is that, bro? And you like stick your finger in it and you're like, oh, Wait, what the fuck? Oh, there's a pussy in the back of my uh, in head. In the back of my fucking head. <laughs> Dude, you'd definitely be like 10 times stupider It'd be like growing into your brain <laughs> No, you'd become a very sexual person I feel like <laughs> you'd be able to fuck anything and anyone Like, it's like, dude, that guy's a pussy in the back of his head Like, <laughs> there's no way that, like, he won't somehow be able to fuck you with it <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, uh, man Gibby, what would you do, man? What would you do, man? Hey, if I had a pussy in the back of my head <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm. Probably grow my hair out. <laughs> Wear a hat a lot. Yeah, a scarf maybe. A scarf. <laughs> oh man, I got this jacket in Japan, right? The famous jacket. I know it's a weird thing because I'll like, insert a picture. I went to Japan, by the way. Yeah, we both did. No, you didn't. Exactly. And you said this before exactly. the podcast. You said this before the podcast. You said, I'm going to lie and I'm going to say that I'm going to Japan too. Dude, what friend <laughs> goes without their fucking bandmate to Japan? Yeah. They're fucking one of their like fucking Dude, podcast homie to Japan. I invited you. Mm. I did. I decided to go 24 yeah, you hours you didn't before offer to pay for my left. ticket once. I told you how cheap it was, and I was like, bro, you have the money. Like, this is, like, once in a lifetime. Like, it's nah, so I was like, bro, there. honestly, there's, like, no, a bunch no. of new Fortnite skins coming out. I can't, Jojo. I don't, I can't afford it. No, I'm just kidding. I, j I'm, I just want to get out of my house. You should have came to Japan, then. That really would have taken you out of no, your house. No, like, permanently. Oh, okay. Why? I, I think me and Gibby are going to move in. I think I'm going to crash on his couch for a while. It's open for show. Gibby, what if I did that? What would you do if I, I, if like, I came over like for a night just to hang out? I was like, bro, I'll just sleep over. And then like the Never next day left. came, and I was like, bro, do you mind if I just like stay here for the day or something? And you're like, yeah, bro, I got like school and work, but I'll be back. <laughs> and then like, it turned into like a month of me living at your house. And you're like, dude, would you ever be like, yo, bro, do you have to go back home? <laughs> do you like, does your girlfriend want to see you or something like? <laughs> no, I'll probably just be cool with it. I would just be very dismissive. I'd be like, bro, stop asking. <laughs> <laughs> would you help me pay rent? No. <laughs> oh, shit. And every time you asked, I would get really pissed off dude, about it. like, eat his shit to, like, eat his any groceries like, bro, he what? Had. I'm like, dude, I literally got most of the groceries in the fucking fridge. You bro. smoke his weed. <laughs> I'd be like, bro, I got you your last, like, couple sissy pods. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there was this one guy who moved into my family's house for, like, a year. What? You know about him. There's this one guy who moved in. <laughs> I'm not going to name any names, okay? But he was a friend of my brother's, and he, like, ended up, he was staying there for, like, a few days, and then that few days turned into a month, and then the month turned into a year. He pushed over a tree. Yeah. In the park. You know about that. And Josiah told me the story of, like, Josiah, like, one day, like, his brother and his homie came home, and they're like, dude, 
Like my homie pushed over like a whole tree. Like yeah, he was like, I was so there. angry, I pushed down a tree. And like there were like big ass trees in our park in our neighborhood, like, <laughs> like huge big, trees, like, like rooted in the ground. Yeah, and he was like, "Dude, I pushed it over. I was so angry." <laughs> Damn, bro. It wasn't true though. No, it wasn't true at all. It was impossible. And we drove by the next day. There was no tree pushed down. Uh, <laughs> there would have been a hell to pay if he there was, was a tree pushed down. Talking in that, about pushing in that trees over. Park. He was like, "Dude, I Old just taunt. pushed it over." He was like, "I was so angry," and he was still angry. He was like, "I'm just so pissed," and he was like, "I, I pushed down a tree." I wouldn't push down a tree for you. To save my life? Or to end it, yeah. Would you trust me with your life? Like, in what way? Like, to save your life. Like, physically, mentally? Yeah, physic- just in general. Like, would you trust me? Like... To figure it out and save your life? I would trust that you do your best. Yeah. I don't think that that necessarily means that I think you would be the best, my first pick. What? Why? Who like, would be your first pick? I, I just think there are people Josh? that are like more naturally competent than you. Who? Grace. Oh, your sister, bro. Like, the thing is, if it was like a singing competition to save my life, yeah, I would fucking pick you. You know what I mean? If it was a strength competition. I would pick Gibby. I'm stronger than Gibby. Oh, okay. I was lifting weights in there, and he was Can like, Whoa. Can we please do arm wrestle? I'm begging you. Can we please do arm wrestle? Yeah, yeah. if sure. you want an arm wrestle, we'll do it in the Patreon. <laughs> yeah, I think Gibby will fucking whoop you. I don't think we should do Patreon. I think we should do OnlyFans. It's called, It's pronounced pa- Patreon. It's Patreon. Why would it be Dude, Patreon? Because the fucking owner, I, I was watching an interview of him talking about his own fucking website, and he calls it Patreon. He does? Yes, he does. God, what an awful name. Patreon. It's Patreon. Patreon sounds so much better. Well, Patreon. That's not how it's pronounced. Add me on Patreon. Add me on Snapchat. Add me on Patreon. Because it's like patronizing. It's like that. I remember Snapchat. Do you say patronize or patronize? Patronize. Do, you, do I remember Snapchat? Is that yeah. what you said? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, Jesus Christ! Do you like be real? You know. Yeah, dude, I've seen a lot of give you Snapchat videos. Those are usually oh, what I go so on there for. Good. Thank you, thank you, dude. Honestly though, um, like, I feel like you should just post them. Um, like I think people deserve to see it. Dude, the fact that you make those like two minute long Snapchat videos and you don't post them anywhere is crazy. They it would do great. People would love them. Yeah. And you, 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 but you just make them for your own enjoyment, which is honestly awesome. I'll just like send to the homies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gibby will make these like, like three, <laughs> four minute videos of like just him in his house, like skits, and he'll just send him on Snapchat. And the thing is, like, none of us can even save it. Like, it's just gone afterwards. Like, <laughs> it's like purely just in the moment. Like, you're just That's watching the this. best part. Yeah. <laughs> uh. When was your birthday? Um, it's actually coming up November thirteenth. You're Scorpio. Yeah, dude. What do you want to do? Um, circus or the just carnival? Chill. You want to do circus Fortnite? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dude, the kids' brains are becoming like <laughs> K-pop. Like, you want to do Fortnite BTS? Like the whole world is becoming trolls. Like, uh, I'm tired. No. Oh. Dude, we gotta play Fortnite later. Why are you tired? Are you going home? Uh, yeah. He had said. Tonight, he had said. Sure. He had said we gotta wrap it up, man. He was like, Did we he gotta. Really say yeah, that? when we were out there, he was like, yo, we gotta get this shit started, man. Cause like I gotta go home. <laughs> Hell yeah, I gotta be home tonight. He was like eating pizza, being like, yeah, I gotta go. Home, <laughs> like, bro, what are you talking about going home when you have Fortnite? Exactly. I can get on when I'm at home. You know that's different. You know, it's totally different than you playing in here with us. You know the dubs hit differently. We'll play build. <laughs> we'll play build, man. I don't have my same skin, bro. Just log in. Oh, can you do that? Yeah. Yeah. But I have a play, like, a, my account's on PlayStation. Is it not an Epic account? It is. You I can think. Log in? If it's an Epic account, you can log in. We need to stop talking about Fortnite on the pod. Dude, even the guy at CVS is talking about Fortnite with us. 
I know. He was like, what are you guys, last night is Halloween, and he, the guy was like, what are you guys doing tonight? And we were like, oh, like, <laughs> and meanwhile, we're like buying a bunch of fucking alcohol, and we're like, oh, we're just going to play Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> like, he was probably just thinking, like, cool, dude, you're going to get drunk and play Fortnite. But he was a chiller, like, someone came in, and he was like, hey, do you know where the toothpicks are? And he just looked at them, and he went, no. <laughs> he was like, oh, And no. then he looked at us, and he's like, he's like, I lied to him. I don't even. I don't even care. <laughs> Dude, he was like the craziest like, character, like out of like a like out of a fucking sitcom, and he straight up did say that he was like, I just lie sometimes. He was like, when I don't want to like tell people, or I don't want to figure. I just don't want to deal with it. And he was like, and to be honest, I don't know where they are. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, toothpicks. You see how big this store is, dude. Yeah. <laughs> we like, yeah, I'm not kidding. That's verbatim what he said. Actually, like, he, and he was saying it just like that. He yeah. was like the funniest guy ever. Who's the kid? Yeah, I know. I I don't know his name. Yeah, I mean, weed will do that to you, dude. Yeah, we smoked a lot of weed, man. Yeah, I know. At such a young age, do you think that it um, do you think that it messed you up the for thing a long is, time? Is, um, whether it did or or not, I can't acknowledge because I'm living my life now. And if I think about living in the past, how am I gonna, you know, I'm if living I'm my too, best If life. I'm looking too much in the rear view mirror, how hey, am I gonna focus on the road? Hey, hey, you see what I mean? There's traffic going hey, on. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna hit the carpool, bro. Hey, Don't fucking touch me. You live your life in Don't the slow lane. Don't scream in the mic, dude. You live your life in the slow lane. Dude, you told you'd be me that such a good engineer. You you told me that before that you live your life in the slow lane. You said, "Well, I live in the slow lane." I didn't most say of the that. Time. Yeah, you did. And you use it as an analogy for depression. And Shut you up, said, "Pussy." You did. You said that I live in like the middle lane. <laughs> I didn't say that. Yes, you did. It was on one of the <laughs> podcast episodes. I could literally pull it up for you. <laughs> Don't. I'm not crazy. Yeah. Well, you're making me feel crazy. You used and the it. thing is that. Th- okay. So the thing is. You is used it as an analogy. Boy who cried wolf. You lie a lot. Yeah. You lie a lot. No, I don't. <laughs> Are you sure? Nah, that was a lie. Damn, you do lie. And the thing is, is I can't trust him as much. You so can trust when me, he's bro. passing out in the gas station at one a.m. I'm gonna think it's a fucking joke. Okay, but you know about that, right? We told you about that last night. Mm, yeah, you did. Me passing out in the gas station on tour? Yeah, man, because you got a big pee pee. What? You took a big pee pee. Oh, I, th- I thought you exactly. said I had a big pee pee. Josiah went pee and Same apparently thing. that makes him dizzy sometimes. You had a big pee pee? Dude, I big lost a gallon of liquid out of my body and then I collapsed on the floor of a gas station. What's the big fucking deal about that? Boom, bitch. Boom, mic drop. Boom, bitch. How do you feel about Gia Gun? You know who G- Gia Gunn is? Who's G- uh, James Gunn? No, Gia Gunn from uh, Drag Race Season 6. No. She says, I am the Boom Boom Gun. <laughs> and she like slams her big bag on the table. <laughs> and she also says, absolutely. <laughs> what? Yeah. She says That's that? Tim Heidegger's thing. Absolutely. No, yes. no, no. It's not that. It's not absolutely. It's It's absolutely. Forget it, bro. You don't know who she is. Fuck you, bro. Oh, no. She's like, absolutely. No, no, no. You definitely don't know who she is. Yeah, no, Gibby's right? Gibby <laughs> never seen an episode of RuPaul's <laughs> Drag Race right? ever. Dude, uh, episode of what? Pizza RuPaul's Bird. Drag Race. <laughs> yeah, I have. What episode? Who? When? I don't believe um, that. No, I've <laughs> seen the Drag Race. So you're a homophobe. You like Drag Race? Like NASCAR? No. I'm just kidding. <laughs> like cars too my friend's dad one time put on RuPaul's Drag Race thinking that it was like a drag racing thing <laughs> and she said that he sat there through the whole episode <laughs> and watched it maybe she liked it she was converted and, and he was like dude this isn't dude Gibby you know what you need to watch bro hmm. the new Bachelor in Paradise mm. no trust me it's actually hella good they they, they did they I did a new thing that switched up the entire format. What they do? You want me to tell you? It's a twist. Dude, yeah. no. Let's Something. not talk about Bachelor in Paradise on the pod. Yeah, you're right. You're you gonna don't watch spoil that it shit. for everybody. You don't watch that shit. And you're stupid. What they no, do? But I'm Fuck. saying you're you're it's spo- so spoiler alert. If you're gonna watch Bachelor in Paradise, that's what you gotta say. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. 
Spoiler alert. Oh, this is something cool I got in Japan. When I move it like that, is it really loud? Nah. Can you hear that? Barely. Check this out. Dude, he got some fake foams. The chrome domes. No, I looked at it today and it was like, yo, they're fully real. Like I checked, I was like, how do you how how do you tell if one's fake? And this is real. And they're like Google seven six hundred dollars shoes, and I got them for fifty bucks in Japan. Are you crazy? Chrome to your dome, hey. I got them for fifty bucks. In Are they used? Yeah, they're used, but they're in good condition. Honestly. Yeah. Like you could probably, I could probably sell these. Are for you like gonna use them bucks. to run or walk mostly? Two fifty, three hundred. Um, am I gonna? I'm gonna use them to work out. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think they look cool? Yeah. Do you think they're only cool because of the name? The foam posits? Like, if I made those, would you think they're cool? No. Yeah. Yeah. Like, from this side, without the logo, it's definitely yeah, not as cool. Yeah, you have no artistic integrity. What? It's all about names, too. Brands and names and... So, uh, brands, names, and price tags. That's brands what you base your clothing off and of. Price I base my clothing off of... My mom knitted this shirt, right? What shirt do you have that this your mom one. knitted? This one... You know, that's not true. My game game spent hours on it. There's literally a brand on the other side of the arm. Yeah. My yeah. My grandma likes to put other brand tags on there to make it feel legit. My name is Lucas and I like to hide my face from okay, the fucking so camera with Josie, my fucking microphone. Um, likes to show his face all the time because he thinks it's so beautiful that he can just fuck whoever they want, whether they're asleep in the bed or not. Whoa. Okay, that sounds very, very bad out of context. <laughs> that was not. That sounds good. extremely bad out of context. Do you want to tell the story or do In I have context, to? out of context. Do you know the context? I know. And it's so bad, it's like, man. dude, what context would it be that that's fucking okay? Because it's not. The thing I was is, asleep and I so, wasn't trying to okay, have sex I'll go, with I'll you. I'll go through this super quick because we've talked oh about this on the God. other fucking podcast. But basically what happened, I don't know if Gibby knows this, but Josie has a thing where at night, like, sometimes he talks, he sleep talks, he moves I'm around. around. I used to um, sleep walk He's very, a lot. like, subconsciously awake. And there have been other times... Like on tour one time, Corbin woke up to Josiah hugging and cuddling him. And one time, Drew woke up to Josiah hugging and cuddling him. And that's as far as it's been. But one morning, we were both sleeping in the same bed together. And I woke up to his fucking him humping me. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Like, he was grabbing my waist like a fucking I rag doll. I grabbed his hips. And he I, grabbed my hips, pulled me I towards him. I was fucking away. And it was humping me. So I, I was half asleep. I was like... Huh? I and then, and then I, 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 I pushed. Like, no, no. Listen to this. Listen to this, Gibby. This is real, Gibby. No, this actually happened. Um, and so I pushed him right away. Here. I was so fucking freaked out. And then Yo, afterwards, he on. he like waited a second and then grabbed and started doing it again. He was doing two for two after I pushed him away. After I pushed him away, he kept going. Uh, he wanted more. I and, thought you were somebody else. And so else. then I gave him a big push. And afterwards, like Josie and his like sleeped out mind, like. Was like okay, like okay. He doesn't want to like interact anymore. I was just like rub his back and like something's wrong. You know. I didn't think it was he and his. I thought you were somebody else. Well, allegedly. Okay. Well, guess what? What's up? No, no. This is what fucking happened. Okay. Once I woke up and I was scratching Lucas's back, I opened my eyes and I was like, <gasps> exactly. They're on their way, bro. Turn this shit off. <laughs> that better not be copywritten. <laughs> that better not be copywritten, Gibby. That's going on outside. What are you talking about? <laughs> no. Dude, and then he started caressing my back, and then, like, and he just finally fucking stopped. And then, like, we both woke up, and Josie's like, I forget what he said. What did you say? I thought you were someone else. Yeah, I thought you were someone else. And I went, I know. And then I just kept sleeping. And then, yeah, I went back to sleep, too. Because I didn't know how bad I was until Lucas told me. I thought I was just, like, scratching his back and, like, being kind of weird like that. And that I woke up, and I was so embarrassed by that. I was like, dude, I thought you were someone else. And um, that's all I thought, thought happened. He thought I was, I was, yeah. He thought he was, he was. I thought, he, he thought was. I was his girl, dude. Oh, my God. Yeah. And he was treating me like it. Because we've been falling asleep. he was asleep. grabbing my waist. We've been Gibby, falling this is real, South dude. Park he literally was humping me, like. I felt like I wasn't. I was pressing myself in him probably because I doubt I was humping you. You had like a full. Yeah, it was morning time. <laughs> dude, so I'm not even kidding. Mouth. I felt it on my fucking butt. <laughs> <laughs> dude, it was. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> dude, 
dude, I fucking like, don't. And this don't, is real. I this really, is something real really that happened. I really don't like that you dude, know my body that well. Dude, no. it was fucking weird. It was um, so weird. And then now it's like we had to just keep being friends after that. Yeah, man, that's crazy. I mean, we don't have to. No, we. I mean, now we do. What, because the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this podcast is gonna is. I mean, I, it's done already. This is the first and the last episode, okay? Because, whoa, Gene, I'm Billy. You're Gene. <laughs> 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 and don't ask about the fucking name, okay? Just don't ask. Um, basically, yeah, I fucking accidentally uh, did that to Lucas, and I was so embarrassed nah, by it. I don't blame you. Know you, how you were asleep. I, I, I know that it was like. Definitely the worst possible thing. We had been falling asleep to South Park a lot lately, <laughs> yeah, so and that's Lucas what it was. put on like, South Park on that South Park, night. His so mind immediately I thought together. I was somewhere else, you you somewhere and else. that you were someone else. And like I like when I peeped up in my eyes a little bit, I well, saw like dark saying, hair, dude, and I was like, like, oh, your face and like it's just so fucking beautiful and dope that you think you can just throw people around how yeah. you want. No, I was asleep. <laughs> I don't think I'm fucking beautiful. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm ugly. <laughs> Is that what you want to hear from me? No. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Gibby's got my back, I think. I don't know. No, you're an op too. Y'all are... No. Why? Why am I not? <laughs> Y'all are my biggest fucking ops in this world. Yeah, I dude. Swear to God. Is, why is Gibby an op? Look, at, he playing the police siren and being all funny. Oh, like, you're going to jail. <laughs> it's so hard. I mean, you, you humped him while he... He was sleeping. I don't think I humped him. <laughs> I think I pressed myself into him. I know the thing him. is, is we were both it sleeping. It doesn't make it any better, dude. Fuck. Shoot. It's like, I, when I sleep, I don't really move, right? Yeah. I feel bad, I, I but I also feel like it's not me, dude. Like, it's my fucking asleep self. Like, I, I, I want to apologize for him. Like, I want to be like, yo, I'm so sorry. He's weird, man. Uh, how hard did you push? <laughs> dude, so hard. As hard, dude, I was being fucking, <laughs> as hard as you would due to that. Like, were you like, no, <laughs> and I didn't say that because the thing is, I woke up to it. I was still even trying to assess what was going on. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was still trying and to I was figure still it out. Asleep. And Josie was apparently still asleep. <laughs> I but was. I, after my first push, I, I knew, I like because of the stories. I I kind of like I I've heard about it. So Corbin, all I did to Corbin was I went like this. I like went. Like, I, like, I <laughs> it's just out. so funny. I put my arm around him and just like kind of spooned him like he was a little spoon. And he never slept in bed with me again <laughs> that tour. I mean, he slept in a bed with me since, but that's who Yeah, I me and Josie slept in the bed. It was mostly us together. Dude, for as many times as we've slept in a bed together, it's crazy that it took this long for something like that to happen. Yeah, that was the first and only time. Yeah, and we've slept in this like bed and on tour together times, hundreds probably. of times, dude. Like, it's been years. So, count yourself lucky, man. I feel like I'm pretty fun to sleep with. No. Sometimes, worst, sometimes man. I no, you steal the one, one time. Me and Gib- Gibby, wa- we like got super faded and we put the blanket over ourselves and we pretended like we were ninjas and we would uh, <laughs> we would pretend like we were fighting people. How old are you? We were like seventeen. We're like 16. eight, nine. He said, he said seventeen, sixteen. Uh-huh. Gibby, do you you, remember, you know what I'm talking about, right? You also said that yeah. you all met when you, you were nineteen, <laughs> Gibby. Like I thought you guys met when you were nineteen. Well, we met in seventh grade. He was nineteen. That's weird. Yeah. Um. Uh, hold on. No, it's not. You suck to sleep with, and let me tell you, Gibby, you don't know about this. What? This is bullshit, bro. This is bullshit. Lucas on tour, I told him I was like, bro, like, just, just try not to steal the blanket tonight, cause he'd been stealing the blanket so much, and he was like, yeah, yeah, no, I fucking suck, I suck. <laughs> and he went and he slept in the bathtub. Dude, Josie made me sleep in the bathtub. No, I'm not I kidding. didn't, and I uh, told Gibby, you that was also uh, <sighs> Nelson's birthday night. Um, it was. I was talking to you guys. Oh, really? Yeah, and that's why I was able to talk to you guys because I was in the bathroom. <laughs> that's why you want to go to the fucking. And remember, bathroom. remember at first I was texting you too. I was like, dude, it's like three a.m. here. Like, yeah. I don't know if I can talk to you. And, and you woke like, everybody up, by the way. Corbin was like, "Yo, what is he doing?" And I was like, "Dude, he's doing a bit." I was like, "But he's taking it too far." And I was like, "I'm not feeding into it." And Corbin and Seth were like, "Should we like go in there?" And I was like, dude, no, like, don't fall for this shit. Like, he's literally, like, he's joking. He's nah, sleeping man. in the bathtub. And you actually fell asleep in the bathtub, didn't you? I hurt my back so bad. Yeah, and that's on you. And drumming, too, is like, your back hurts so much on tour. Yeah. You so, did it to your fucking self. Like, I don't know shitty. what to tell you. There's no pillow, dude. It was just a cold bathtub. <laughs> um, it was super cold. Josie, I mean, Josie, no. he can be so hard of heart sometimes. And sometimes he... 
All he, I he's told fine you? to leave you on the curb. He's fine to go looting, even if you're getting shot at. <laughs> well, you know my slogan, ABL, always NBS, be looting, always be looting, never, never be, be shooting. shooting. See, he lives by his life in Fortnite. <laughs> That's what he does. I'm busy in the bathroom, and he's busy looting in his fucking brain, sleeping, having the best time <laughs> of his life. Dude, no. I had told Lucas, yo, you steal all the fucking blanket. Try not to steal the fucking blanket tonight, bro. And you were like, yeah, I fucking suck. So right? when I'm asleep and I steal blanket, that's fucked up. But when you're asleep and you fuck me my ass, <laughs> that's super chill and that's my fault. Dude, no, it's not your fault. Why would it be your fault? I gave you an explanation. I didn't say it was chill. I was just saying this is what I guess like I was thinking and I woke up and I felt so bad. Yeah, so bad. <laughs> I did. <laughs> but I'm not going to sit here and take the blame for it like I was awake. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're right. It's unfortunate for both of us. It's very unfortunate for both of us. But I think that still, even subconsciously, like, you still, uh, like, unlock some door that allowed you to do that. Like, there's still some form of you that still, like, allowed it. I was asleep. Mm. I don't fucking know, man. Sigmund Freud bullshit. <laughs> That's scary, though. Are you ever worried you'll do that again in your sleep because you have no control? Yes. That's a genuine question. Yes. That's like yes, actually yes. like true. I am. I feel like I need to get on. Like after that, I was like, dude, I need to get on sleeping meds or something because like that that's too far. Worse, Maybe dude. you should just tie yourself down or handcuff yourself. Yeah. But I move so much when I sleep. And if I don't, I wake up. <laughs> yeah, dude. Of course. I I know you move a lot in your sleep. That's why you need to be handcuffed, bro. <laughs> Oh, maybe handcuffed. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. Like if I was like, just like, like <laughs> yeah, like that. <laughs> That's how I just sleep every single night. Or we hang you upside down like a vampire. Oh yes, like a bat. Mm-hmm. Like in a coffin. Like on the ceiling, we'll just put your feet up there. I would love to sleep in like a coffin. No, that's my biggest nightmare. I get claustrophobic. <gasps> One time in a hammock, I got like rolled I know up. what we're doing for the Halloween episode next year. What? Lock Lucas in a coffin oh, for 10 hours good, challenge. Good idea. Uh-huh. Dude, Mr. Beast buried himself alive underground <laughs> in a coffin and did that. You remember that like one thumbnail two, of him days. like where he was like, I starved myself yeah. for 30 days. And he looked and like so gaunt, so gaunt and like... And like hungry, dude. In that video too, he's like doing five other other videos while he's doing it, and he's like in a Willy Wonka suit, like <laughs> having eaten for like two, two weeks. Cr- like dude, he's <laughs> the scariest, craziest person I think in the world. I think he like um is one of the like generational people of our time, and I think he's the greatest YouTuber ever. Ever, I think he's the goat. What he's like Ryan the LeBron Higa? of YouTube. What like, about Ryan Higa? How to be ninja. Yeah, he was influential, Ooh. like Smosh. You well, can... he's like Michael Jordan, because he's before LeBron. True. Yeah. No, yeah. he's more like fucking... Yeah. Um, Fred. Gen- Fred was the go. <laughs> yes. Actually, give me right. Fred was the go. Yeah. Fred was the go. I don't know shit about him now, but he seems freaky. <laughs> no, now. he makes TikToks and talks about... Fred. He's just a super gay, and he's like, I can't believe that they try to have me like date a girl in my movie. Like That is so funny. Oh, yeah, I remember saying He's that. like, literally, look at me. Like That's insane. Your talents will be wrecked. Recognize and rewarded. I've, I've been keeping this fortune in my. Uh, oh my god, I need to mail my phone back. I did a trade in. Also, I need to pay my parking ticket. Fuck. Okay, and I need to pay my credit card. Oh man, you need to do your cameos. <gasps> <laughs> the day I decided to, um, the day I decided to like go to Japan, I like posted. I was like, guys, I'm doing cameos again. Yeah, it's so funny. Just like, so like funny. the timing of my. I'm like, yep, he needs some fucking Drew Japan was like, money. Drew was like, I saw your story, and I was like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> gotta get some spending money for Japan. Like I'm broke. <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah, why'd you just take your shirt off? We have to do a sign off. Dude, look at me. You, 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 you got to come back on camera, man. Put your shirt back on. You got bug bites on your back, man. Wait, let me see. You got bug bites? Damn, bro. They fucked you up. Do you want to come on camera like that? You're showing everyone your bug bites? Should I zoom in? No. No. We got to do the sign off, man. Don't fart, please. Please don't fart. Please don't. Please don't fart, Lucas. Bro, have you changed your bed sheets? (laughs) Dude, you're making me nervous. 
I'm just saying, please don't fart. Like this side, dude, like, Lucas, what? You need to take, like... No one can hear you, bro. Okay, just let me put on the shirt. Lucas, thanks fuck to your ass. Oh. <laughs> I know, right? Did it look good on the camera? Are those bug bites, Luke? <laughs> what do you mean? I can't see. It could be chicken pox. Huh? <laughs> Why you got a new shirt on now? <laughs> just gonna, like, edit it and it's like a new shirt? Lucas is putting on a new shirt. To do the sign off, I don't know why, but Luke is putting on a new shirt. Maybe you know what? Maybe I'm having an off day. Shit, Am I dude. allowed to have an off day and feel stressed? But, but the thing is, is your off day is your every day. I was gonna say. <laughs> 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 okay, I'm kidding. I'm sorry. I no, didn't mean that. No, no I'm sorry, bro. You said. Dude, no, you just no. came back from Japan. You had a fucking ball. You you. Came in with your big sweatshirt and your big shoes. It was awesome. <laughs> I, you know, one time I bought Lucas fucking Jordans and I waited outside that fucking store for like two hours and I got him fucking Jordans. I swear to God, they're in the fucking closet. You can look. I got them for He him. didn't wait outside some fucking what store. Kind? Yes, I did. And I have witnessed. Grace was with me. She won? Yep. And I bought those fucking Jordans because he kept saying for years, I want like really oversized big Jordans. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, I'll just so wear them I with my normal them. outfits and I'll just look so out of place. I got like, them for him, just real so Jordans, weird. for his birthday and he never fucking yeah, wore them once. Them. Actually, once. I'll start wearing them. I'll start wearing them. Please. I would love that if you did. But or the thing sell is, them. you're already wearing your Do fucking something. big Jordans now. And These like, aren't Jordans. They're phone posits. I know, but now you're wearing your big goofy shoes and you're kind of taking my thing, man. You're calling those goofy shoes. Okay. Um... I think that I think that's it for the first episode. Yeah. Do you want to be done? I think that is it. I'd w- I want to be done. <laughs> I'm Billy. No, you're Gene. <laughs> I'm okay. Hold on. If you guys want to see another episode, okay. Well, I know another He's episode Billy. is coming. He's Billy. He's Gene, and we and are, we are n- not oh, your. No, hold on, I gotta say some stuff. Thank you to everybody for watching. Um, there's going to be another episode coming out next week. Same same place, same time. Um, I don't even know what day we're releasing it yet. Mondays? I got the Monday blues. Mondays? No. Let me cheer up some people's Mondays. Hey, guys. One thing I can say for sure is there's no fucking way this is coming out on Monday. All right. Well, Shut thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next week. Um, I'm Billy And I'm Gene And we are Are not not your your lovers. lovers